we had done a play called The Four Poster, which was just the two of us, and it was a big hit. We gave over between six and seven hundred performances of it. Producers were looking for other material which Jesse and I could do together. And um, um, we finally did two seasons of a radio show called The Marriage. And uh, it was very successful. It was, today it would be considered a, a sitcom. Uh, and um, about a family and commonplace family problems. And it was being done by NBC, and they wanted me to do a television of the marriage. And we were very uncertain about that because we thought we could be stuck doing this forever and forever. Um, <clears throat> but we finally agreed to doing uh, a summer replacement, which was considered déclassé. Uh, you didn't appear in a summer replacement if you could appear in the fall, in the winter season. Um, but there was a slot that we could have with the understanding that at the end of the eight shows, which we were to do, one a week for eight weeks, uh, if we didn't want to continue, we could walk away from it. You couldn't make that deal today, no matter who you were, you just couldn't do it. The studio would have too much invested in the show. Um, but w we did this and we did, um, and it also, despite the fact that Jesse, my wife, had a miscarriage on the day of the first show, and we had to run a film. So in the end, we only did seven episodes. Um, the president of NBC was then Pat Weaver, that's Sigourney Weaver's father. Um, and uh, he was someone I knew quite well, and he, he was very anxious that we continue. He said, we've got uh, sponsors all lined up for the fall. You must go ahead. You have a big hit on your hands, and so on and so forth. And we didn't want to do it. Um, uh, and I remember that we'd gone off, we'd done our season, and we'd gone off on a brief fishing trip, Jesse and I with Kazan and his wife. And uh, we were down fishing in the Bahamas, and I got word over the, the boat's radio that a small plane was that someone was coming out to see me from New York, from the agency. And I remember just Kazan's disgust and said. You mean to say you're going to take an afternoon out of our holiday and talk about television? And I said, yes, I can. I said I would do that. Uh, the agency who represented us then was Ashley Steiner. That's Ted Ashley and uh, a man who's dead now named Aaron Steiner. And uh, they had to get this settled if they were to get the slot set for the fall with the sponsors that they wanted. <clears throat> and we had been backing away from it. And Ira chartered a small seaplane and came down and found us in the Bahamas. And he landed and he came aboard. And uh, Kazan and his wife had gone off fishing. They were disgusted. And we sat in the back and we tried to tell Ira why we didn't want to do the show. And the discussion went nowhere for a while. And I was sitting there, my left, and Jesse was right across from him. And uh, Ira was saying, look, let's cut through all this crap. 
we've talked, we've talked, I'll ask you one question. And if uh, you give me the answer to that, and I'll know whether you're serious about this or not. If you could next year be in the position that Lucy Ball is today, would you do it? And I looked across at Jesse and Jesse said, I said, I'm sorry, Ira, I'm afraid the answer is no. He said, all right, that's it. And he got up and he dived overboard. And he was quite corpulent, sweet man. And he was swimming and he came up to the surface, looked up at us and he said, there's a lovely shell down there. God, I'd like to get it, but I can't reach it. Lovely big shell. Dad, insult to injury, Jesse dived in, went down, picked up the shell, brought it up to him. 